ManyChat is an excellent tool for building social media bots, but its potential is limited without external integrations. By the end of this video, you will know how to connect ManyChat with other tools, exchange data between them and set up powerful automations. I am Dmitry Norik, co-founder of Silhouette AI Agency, where we integrate AI solutions like voicebots, chatbots and video avatar content into businesses worldwide. Stay focused and let's make it work. So firstly, I would divide them into two groups. The first group is in-app integrations and the second one is external integrations. And what is the difference? When I say in-app integrations, here I mean in many chat integrations, integrations that many chat provides us with. These are direct and easy to use. You can find them in settings, in integrations, in extensions. If it's your account, you will see them right away. If it's not your account, you need to have admin permissions to see them and to connect them. Here are the apps we have here. So basically they're uh, email marketing platforms, Google Sheet, ChatGPT, right, and CRMs. These are in app and it will be very convenient for us to work with them into our automation. How to find them in, in our flow? So we check actions and if you have these apps connected, they will show up here, right? So I have ChatGPT connected, I have ConvertKit con uh, connected and Google Sheets and you can choose what you want to do with them. I should mention that they have like limited functionality here, so you can do anything you want with them directly here. They will not have uh, as much functionality as, for example, automation tools, right? Or if we talk about app API, like the features, the functionality, the capabilities uh, our app provides us with, for Google Sheets, it will not be only like inserting row, getting row by value. There will be more of them, but here we have most used uh, actions that can be handy to have here. They're very easy to use. For example, let's take uh, Google Sheets, for example, many chat messages, sheet one. And here you can add many chat data, for example, first name or different system fields or user fields you want to send. For example, if for contact ID, uh, I'll add many chat contact ID, click save. And when we have this flow completed before our action, so we gathered this first name, we gathered a uh, website, sorry, I have to change it here. I change it to user's website and we just go here, insert a row, and send it right away. And then we can connect it to our next message. And we have it. Like th this flow, this module here will take half a second, maybe one second. But what if uh, the app uh, we want to use is not listed here, right? So for example, we want to use Notion and we don't have Notion here, but we need it. Here is where external integrations come into place. How we can achieve this? In ManyChat, it's done through external request. We can find it in actions, make external request, right? When we finalize it, it will look something like this. So specific window, right? With some fields, we will do it now. So look, when you open it, you will have four sections, headers, body, response, response mapping. You will also have request URL, request type, and contact for testing and different buttons. Let me explain it step by step. So headers are additional pieces of information, additional instructions for a system to understand how specifically you want to transfer your data between your apps. If you use post request type, and you will use it in most cases, one header you should certainly have is uh, your content type, right? So in which type uh, your data will be transferred. And this one is JSON. And how we can define it? In key, we usually type content type and the value will be application JSON. It should be identical. 
right? Identical to this one. Body, what is body? Body is the section where we define what data will be transferred, right? So in our case, I will transfer my name, the name of our user and the website provided. We will transfer these two fields uh, to my automation tool, which will add this data to Notion. Response will show us what is the result when we test it, right? So we can test our request. And response mapping is where we will uh, let our system understand where we want to save collected data in ManyChat. So let me show you. For example, if we define our answer, our data that comes uh, as an answer, we can select certain custom field which this data will be uh, recorded in. Don't worry, we will practice it and I will discuss it even more. What is request URL? Request URL is mm, the place where your data will be sent. If we talk about automation tools, we usually use webhooks. Let me show you. For example, I usually use make.com. It's convenient for me. And I transfer data with the help of webhooks. So webhooks help me to transfer data. And when I create additional requests, I create a webhook, so let's say test to Notion, save. You copy this address and it will be our request URL. So we will send our data there. As I said, almost always, uh, depending on, the, on your case, you will use a post request type. What is the difference be uh, between post and get? In our case, we send some data, right? We send name. And we send what website? That's why we need post request type in simple terms. If we would just simply require some data, we won't retrieve some data, then we will most probably use get, get request type, but not necessarily. What I want to do, assume I want to send data to this database in Notion. If you're familiar with automation tools, it will be easy for you. If not, let me explain everything. So firstly, I will get my data from any chat, right? That's why I need a webhook. Here you can find it as a custom webhook here. You see that it's instant, so it will trigger right when we do this request. As we got our data, then we want to do certain action. And for this, we'll look for specific module in Notion and it will be uh, create a database item. Here I'll choose uh, my database. And here you see that we can insert data into uh, columns as name and website, just as here. So we will get them from the webhook. Okay, we will insert them here. Firstly, we need to uh, run it once in order to, in order for webhook, so webhook can define our data, its type, its structure. And if we, if we need to send some data back, then we will use webhook response. In this case, we won't just insert our data to Notion database and we don't need everything in return. That's why we won't need this for now. So we have uh, our header defined. We don't need additional headers. In body, what I want to do is to define what data will be sent. And it has specific structures. And it has specific structure. So we will use brackets, uh, dots, and we start with this bracket start with this bracket then using quotation marks we want to define what data will be sent firstly we should create a title for this variable right so now we name our variable that will transfer our data to make and i will name it identical to the information we provide which is then we have colon spacing here again quotation marks and here we insert data we want to transfer and in our case it will be first name only name then we will just close our brackets but here we have uh, another field right we also want to send a uh, website url 
that's why we have comma here euro and i will call it website again colon quotation marks and i will look for user field i created for the website it was user's website close our quotation marks euro and now we close we have another curly bracket which is closing our structure and this is it for our body in response we will not include anything because it's it's just for us it will show uh, up information how our request went and in response mapping we would normally define variables uh, also using specific structures here you can click this button at json path uh, structure instructions will be open you can check them but if we talk about very simple structure then it will be in this format so dollar sign dot and answer in our case right in our case now we don't have any information back any data back so we don't need any these no fields defined or anything that's why we just delete it i have my body i have my header i have euro and request type what we can do now is to do something like determining data structure you will see how it works now so click this button or contact for testing choose uh, yourself and click test request and you see that it's accepted and here it's successfully determined and what does it mean for us look guys when you type on this field in make short make uh, tutorial now you have these variables here defined and code like uh, right so we have name and website just like in our body here this is what we created it for now we have our name here our website here click ok and now we can test it we can run it once we have a value must not be empty what i have empty forget to save it here also don't forget to save it connect it to the last module here i also need to turn this on in order for me to test it i will also set this leaf just like okay i will delete this one set this leaf it's working now let me log into my instagram i hope it will work in my desktop external request your name dima it's your website cti.com it worked and here you can see that in Notion I have my two fields with the data we inserted right now. If you want to see your like history of your uh, runs, you can investigate them here. I forgot to mention that if you want to invest more time in many chat, if you want to become more proficient, you can join our completely free uh, AI automation hub where we answer questions where we help people with uh, different AI tools. Here we also have completely free courses. Uh, I've also created many chat courses exclusively for my community. There are a lot of sections here you can check. AI, uh, conditions, tags, like everything, almost everything you could think about if you want to become intermediate with many chat. So if you are interested, uh, join us. It's free, no worries. And I really would be happy if uh, I see you there if we connect there and would be also happy to help you. But what if we want to mm, get some data back? For example, uh, we have our automation and we have to retrieve some data to our many chat from, for example, Notion or other tools. Let's change our scenario a little bit for this case. So now we will not create a database item for this case i need to search uh, objects module based on the website we will look for a name of our person just you know for example you can set limit okay and now because of the fact that we uh, sent our data back we want to create a webhook response and our webhook response will have the same structure that we had here let me show you that we had here for our body 
So we have these curly brackets, we have quotation marks, we will call a variable name, colon, quotation marks, here we insert, okay, it will be complicated, I think it will be something like in properties value name text content, we will check it, I'm not sure, and we close our curly brackets. What else? Now we need to define a response mapping, right? So here we need to define what data we will get back. And as I said, dollar sign dot, and here we called our variable name, and here we will also call it name. It should be identical. And we will record it to first name. We need to use custom field, that's why I will create my first name custom field. I duplicated my page. Let's go to settings, let's go to fields, let's create new user field and it will be first name, first name. Let's say it for testing. Now go back, yeah we have it here. So and this data that we got, it will be saved to uh, this custom field and then then we can use it here. Let's say your name is user field will be testing. Let's test it now. So I will update it. Let me check if we have everything working here. So we have our body. We don't need uh, our name for this request because we will get it. We have the same request URL. Let's save it. We need to update it again. And let's test it. Make sure your uh, make scenario or Zapier scenario is working. You saved it, it's working for me. And let's test. I'm not sure it will work, but this is what testing is created for. Fortunately, it worked from the first time, so I provided it with my website and I got name. It is correct one. So in make you can see that it's successful. It was successful. And we got our name back during our testing. So I'm sure it will work also if we test it normally in Instagram. So now we'll delete this one here. We'll stay just with our website. Let's update it and let's test it again. This is your website. This is, guys, this is just for example. I hope you understand that it will be uh, whatever information you want, whatever apps you want. Uh, whatever data structure you want and here you can see that we got our name this is how many chat developers like chatbot specialists retrieve data and connect connect different tools to many chat you can do it through make through zapier thank you very much and have a nice day